born and bred in Sydney, but uh, at least uh, half a Kiwi these days after almost five years with the Phoenix. Wonderful shot, wonderful goal! And Jeremy Brocky gets off the mark for the Phoenix. And almost the goal of the match. What a strike! That's a brilliant strike. Does it come down off the bar and then off Cohen in? I mean, he's hit it. This is so difficult. Smart little ball from Tatori, but nothing suggested what was coming next. No, it doesn't come back off Coe. It's straight in. What a brilliant strike. You can see he's looking at it. He knew exactly what he's doing. So difficult to perform that technique as it comes. You know, he's hitting it right across his body the other way. It's a matter of negotiation, and I think Brocky's won the uh, discussion. It's going to be Jeremy Brocky. In from Brocky. And Nathan Coe, the ball across the line. Well, that is how you bring a dead ball to life. Jeremy Brocky with a brace. And Melbourne Victory, who are cruising to victory, have now got to face an anxious last few minutes. Well, he got a lot of pace on that. Nathan Coe, I'm not sure if he just got wrong footed there. Ball well over the line because Co was stand, was diving backwards and the ball would already cross the line. In that sort of position, it's difficult for the right footer. See Nathan Co there, he hits that up and over. It's clearly crossed the line. It's clearly crossed the line, no doubt about that. You see again, we've seen that a couple of times. This it's been talk earlier in the season about the Phoenix being a little bit more pragmatic away from home. Perhaps the fact that they've got three attacking players on the bench doesn't suggest that, but certainly defensively. Good ball from Eiffel, no flag chance for the Phoenix, the sucker punch, and Jeremy Brocky scores for Wellington Phoenix against his former club. That is how quickly a game of football can change. Well, it's a good finish, it's a great delivery. When your team's struggling, get when defenders are struggling, get the ball in where it's going to cause problems. It's a super delivery, plenty of pace. It's really poor marking, ball watching, and that is a super finish from the former Jet. Lovely first touch from Brocky. Wonderful delivery from Eiffel. Exploit those spaces in behind. Very good on the counter-attack. Lockett's delivery just clears Eiffel. Here's Tatori with his first touch. Back to Muscat. Onside is Brocky. Now to Tory. Hangs it to the back post. Hasn't been dealt with particularly well by Newcastle. Jeremy Brocky! Wonderful header from Brocky. Hasn't he come back to haunt his former club? Wellington stretched the lead, and you would imagine that is the ball game. Well, they're dancing in the stands. That is a great header, magnificent header for the former Jets. That's two he's got this afternoon. It's a ball just knocked into the far post. It's a great work there by Zygmunt at the far post and Brocky with a super header. And Nash really caught out of position there. Nobody else really attacking the ball. No one at home, no cover. Jets nil, Phoenix two, and that is a long way from home. Might have found a second win, and Brocky's away. Jeremy Brocky in on goal. Brocky! He's deadly, isn't he? Jeremy Brocky matches Shane Smeltz for clinical finishing, and Wellington Phoenix draw level here at the NIB Stadium. And he's, he's absolutely lethal. He only needs half a, half a smell of goal, and the composure he showed there was absolutely fantastic. Maybe a touch of high foot there, but then once he did get past Pandolides, it was great composure to then slide it underneath Vukovic. I think they would have been harsh done, not done by Wellington there if it was given as well. I think he's done very well to get the ball over Pandolides there and, and finish with great, great aplomb. Through the legs of Danny Vukovic, the fifth goal of the season for Jeremy Brocky. judges it we talk about the wind and if we could give a goal to the wind there is one but Jeremy Brocky will claim it and his rich vein of goal scoring form continues a freakish goal here in the capital he 
As you say, Andrew, put this down to the wind. I mean, the cross is directed at the back post. The wind catches it. And Ante Kovic gets embarrassed. I think that's the second time for Kovic. Last time he was here in Wellington, he tried to tap the ball. So, this for a lifeline for the Wellington Phoenix. And they get it, Jeremy Brocky scores. Is there time for something a little crazy yet here in Wellington? 2-1. Clint Bolton. Clint Bolton has saved three penalties of the ten that have been taken against him. Brocky, and Brocky scores a quite brilliant penalty, leaving Bolton with no chance. We're all tied up in Wellington, two apiece. Well, a penalty under pressure for Jeremy Brocky. He's the man that so far this season scoring his eighth goal for the Wellington Phoenix. It's calmly slotted that one to the left of Clint Bolden. Concentration there, under pressure too. That 2-0 lead of theirs, Harry, seems an eternity ago. Oh, cannons and Brocky's onside, Brocky! Has he clipped his score? Again, Jeremy Brocky, could he be the jewel of the Phoenix crown tonight? Scoring his ninth goal of the season. Well taken goal two, could have gone down. Chose to stay on his feet. Slot that one calmly past Clint Bolden. Well, calm was the word, Harry, because initially the drive from Sanchez, Brocky was onside just there, just clipped there, but he stayed on his feet. And total credit to Brocky for doing so. Well within his rights to have gone down, stayed composed, and what a finish from Jeremy Brocky. Another free kick as well, taken quickly, Brocky now. Brocky tries it, struck perfectly. What a goal from Jeremy Brocky. Quick free kick, great awareness. Brocky opens himself up, and just a super strike. Geez, we've seen some special goals this weekend. Eiffel twists inside, delivers into the box. There's no denying the Phoenix though when Adelaide's defence came up with a howler. Very, very poor pass back. Puts Kalekovic in trouble. And the ball gets nicked and that's the easiest goal that Jeremy Brocky's going to score. Second half started slowly before out of the blue, Wellington were back in it. Here's a chance now for the Phoenix off straight at Birrigitte. He knew nothing about it, but he knows plenty about this one. And suddenly this match may well have been turned. Brocky continued to threaten and was rewarded in the 19th minute when he volleyed home a pinpoint ball from Paul Eiffel. Dinks it across and a wonderful goal from Jeremy Brocky. The cross, the finish, and this time the Phoenix get it right and they're deserving of this lead. The change in atmosphere didn't do much for the Wanderers' defence though as they allowed Wellington striker to go joint top of the Golden Boot standings. 1-1 one, one. and Jeremy Brocky draws level with Daniel McBreen on 15 goals for the season. In this one, from the officials anyway, a perfectly timed challenge. Eiffel squares it. Brocky! 